hey let's just do it real quick you have stuff to do i have stuff to do so you go to github ffmpeg wasm ffmpeg wasm you got it and so if, to make sure check it's jeromey Wu. go to scripts you're gonna need to download the assets so either you take a script and run it on your whatever server on your node js server js or you do this you copy these links if you want to download them manually but either way you need to download them so there's my script okay so we just place it in, in some you know some executable javascript that you have and uh, log log these urls that you will need right boom or so this stuff will just make proper urls that you will need console log them so i'm gonna just launch my app should be somewhere here all right it's here we've got these urls now you copy them you know what to do next right you paste them here boom you have downloaded all the asset i mean i just downloaded one but you repeat that and you have four when you got them and unpacked them you have these four folders so first of all you need this you go 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 inside of it and you have two choices here one is for esm and another is umd so i'm gonna show you how to do it with esm which is for modular whatever go here see that it's whole bunch of files what you need to do you just take them and put somewhere on your cdn like uh, bunny cdn or whatever from where you're gonna serve them to your app page so basically you have uploaded them somewhere right then you delete the shit and then you go to your html file and you say oh wait 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 forget about it then you go to your project and you create a module a module javascript whatever just a javascript file and you make you make one statement saying import ffmpeg from don't forget that these two capital letters here and you import it exactly from where you placed that folder this folder because this folder has that index js js file this is what we want so basically you create a javascript file and you say import ffmpeg from that place that's it then what you do then you say window dot ffmpeg is this basically you attach to window this function that you have imported from that location okay why do we do that okay yeah sorry i forgot to tell you we do that only if your main javascript file is not modular is not a module so this is what i had trouble with and this is why i'm making this video to make it easy for you if you have the same problem because i i fought with it for a couple of days couple of times for a couple of days anyway it was horrible and i don't want you to do to go through the same 
and uh, here's my main script and it's not module and I need that function in this script so I create this module and I say window you're gonna carry that function you're gonna carry that function and deliver it where wherever it will be needed come on what's going on now oh yeah module here window so window becomes the messenger the messiah and uh, bringing that function to non-modular script so then what we do we say uh we attach the script to our body you know this html document body and we've got it and then all the other stuff and then i forgot to tell you that it's got this uh, from utils i ended up not using them but if you're gonna use them then you're gonna do this as well get fetch file whatever now now we can get the function ffmpeg from the window here in any script and so we got it here that's it we got it now we can use it and then we say uh, first we say let ffmpeg and then we say it equals to new ffmpeg big papa constructor creates a new thingy and then we use it so first we say uh, on log it delivers a message responds with the message uh, yeah and then we console log it got it then we have another on progress progress is an object in return we get and what we need here is progress dot time we have another thing there like progress dot progress I don't, I don't remember you can log it and see for yourself but it's not worth it really it doesn't really tell the progress but the time is accurate and what you need to do you just need to know your uh, the file duration that you pass here and then you can calculate the exact percentage uh, progress got it okay this was not important stuff but it's it's fun to have this progress displayed nice nice thanks guys like really awesome the 12th 12th version is is amazing i'm i'm really chuffed with it and very very much <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so here we're gonna say, oh, whoa, 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 wait. We have four folders here, and I said util, you're not gonna use them probably, but we still have three, and only one of them we already uh, used. So these two, this one is single thread. Uh, uh, yes, I'm. Core and Wasm, whatever. So yeah, dig them out of from these packages, take them, place somewhere on your CDN, whatever. Then you take this. If you're gonna use multi-thread, I recommend to. But if you have like troubles with uh shared array buffer then you're not gonna anyway take them both upload somewhere where you can access them from your code and here you provide if we have shared array buffer in our environment then we pass link that goes to this folder core mt and so and so and so on do this ffmpg core got it 
same if we don't have shared array buff buffer bummer but still we can use it with single thread and just make sure you provided it as a fallback because not all browsers support it even if you made this properly with this cross origin embedder policy require corp cor opener policy same origin and the resource policy to cross origin it works it works but not everywhere like i don't know maybe i'm not sure i'm not sure on some on like iphone or something it didn't work but i'm not sure maybe there was another reason you experiment you try it you make it work <laughs> just kidding i know if it doesn't you just i don't know suck it up and do something else okay then what we do we do the loading thing the loading we're gonna pass pass provide this a link a link one of the links here to this load function of this um, object that we created right there all right and so you provide only one link if you place these files in the same folder so you provide link to the core and wasm and worker they catch up okay oh this is this is not okay okay don't mind this other stuff it's just my other functionalities that i was uh, forget about it anyway okay we've got it loaded that's it now we have this uh, ready to work globally in this app and i'm gonna show you real quick this function that takes a v object that has a b parameter and it's a blob and so we use this blob and we do this with it new response array buffer got it then we tell ffmpeg to write file we give it a name and we pass a second parameter a new uint8 array in this thing basically so we made that we got that file written in this file system thing and i have two wins for this function one is for mp3 and the other is for mp4 as you could guess and it goes like here write a thumbnail for mp3 mp3 album wor work and i have some meta metadata stuff what is important here is the way you write the files here what i already said and then the way you read the files you say ffm buddy i'll call it further in after its buddy buddy read file that file that I named output mp3 here at the end of exec uh, function where I passed an array of parameters. Blah, 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 blah. And um, then this audio data, uh, it's got the buff buffer and I pass it as an array here and make a new blob type audio mp3 boom it returns an audio blob yeah it, it does it, it actually does okay same goes for um, mp4 just different parameters la 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 
usually in a browser environment, you get uh, web M files, I mean, uh, containers, and uh, it's it usually in browser, I mean, on desktop, you get it already in uh, MP4, the video track, not not some, you know, PV9, 8 stuff, but proper MP4, you only need to encode, uh, decode and encode the sound, the audio. So you say C, A, uh, A, C. Anyway, this stuff, you can ask chat GPT or find examples, that's easy. What I want to help you with is to how to use this import statement uh, if you have a a simple non-modular script type and how to add this new module script and use that function from it and with the rest you'll sort it out you'll figure it out it'll work it'll do right don't forget to delete files after you've done uh, everything. And uh, that's it. This is my screen recorder here. It works with that stuff. I would have shown you how it does the job, but it's gonna just, you know, <laughs> it's gonna cut recording. It's gonna cut the recording when I stop it or I pause it. So I can't tell you, but um, it's got choice of microphones there. Anyway, that's it. You've got FFmpeg on your in your app. I congratulations. It's it's awesome. I mean, come on. It wasn't that hard at all. But when I was figuring it out how to make it work, I it took me quite some time, man. I I was crying. Okay, what else? Well, nothing else. It's 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 this. It's done. It's done. You've got this logger and progress talker teller, everything. You can use this uh, cropping functions parameters to crop it from end from beginning. Works nice and yeah just saying you can where is it you can set metadata for mp3s you can say they'll do stuff album cover you got it enjoy play high five okay thank you for watching